Hey guys, Taufik here. In this video, let's try to solve one more real SQL interview problem. Now this was shared to me by one of my learners from my recently concluded SQL course and I had faced a similar problem in one of my earlier SQL interviews. Okay. Now again in this problem, the problem statement is actually very interesting but the solution is very simple if you understand one of the most important concepts of SQL. Okay. Now straight away, let's look at what the problem is and try to solve it. So as you can see, the problem statement is actually pretty straightforward. We have been given an input table and we are expected to write a query which is going to convert this input data into something like this. So this one is basically our expected output. Okay. Now if we carefully look at our input data, we can see that we have three different columns. So we have source, destination and distance. So this looks like this is a table which kind of gives you the distance between two different cities. So you can see here I have the first record, a source is Bangalore, destination is Hyderabad and the distance is 400. And the second record is kind of like the repeated data but the source and destination are interchanged, right? So here the source is Hyderabad, destination is Bangalore and the distance is again 400. Okay. And the same thing is repeated for a few other cities. So we have Mumbai and Delhi as 400 and then Delhi and Mumbai as again 400 and then we have Chennai and Pune as 400 and then again Pune to Chennai is again 400. Okay. Now just by looking at this data, we can see that the data is repeated for the same cities, right? So the distance between Bangalore and Hyderabad and the distance between Hyderabad and Bangalore are basically should be the same, right? And that is why in our output, we only have one record for Bangalore and Hyderabad and the distance is again 400. Okay. So just by looking at this input data and looking at the expected output, can you imagine what concept of SQL you could use to solve this problem? Now I'm sure you can solve this problem in many different ways but the solution or the concept of SQL that pops into my mind using which you can solve this problem pretty easily is self-join. And the reason why I say self-join is because I can see that I have this table here okay and I can see that the source present in this column is also repeated in my destination column, right? So if I could join this same table to itself, okay? So I take one copy of this table and try to join it with another copy of the same table and I can join it using either the source column or the destination column, okay? And when I'm doing that join, probably I will be able to join these two records to itself and then somehow I could put an additional condition so that out of these two records, I only fetch one record. Okay, now I'm sure this is not very clear. So in order to explain this better, let me show you a sample. Now, as you can see, I have basically copied the same table twice. And the first table I'm calling like T1 and the second table I'm calling like table two. Okay, and I'm going to do a self join. Okay, now what is a self join? It's basically when you join the same table to itself. Okay, based on certain conditions, right? Of course, you need to provide a join condition. Okay, now my requirement is when these two records will join with these two records, I want to somehow only fetch one record. Okay, so first of all, how can I join this data from my table one with the data present in my table two. I can easily see that the source in this table is Bangalore here in the first record and that same Bangalore is also present in my destination column in my table two. Okay. So somehow I could join this source here with my destination here. So hopefully I will be able to get a successful join. Okay. But in addition to that, I also do want to join the same record of my source table or basically my left table with the same record of my right table, right? Whenever you're doing a left join, you kind of try to avoid joining the same record to itself because then you will get duplicate records, right? So in order to avoid that, and since here I do not have any unique identifier in any of these tables, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a unique, manually I'm going to create a unique identifier. So I'm just going to say one, two, three, four, five and six. Okay. And I'm going to copy this and maybe I'm going to call it like ID or row number or whatever. Okay. So I can easily create this ID for each record by using the row number window function. Okay. I'm just going to use that. And once I have this ID, when I'm processing the every record from my left table, when I say left table, it's my table one. Okay. I'll make sure that I'll put ID is kind of like maybe not equal to the ID from this table, or maybe the ID is less than the ID from this table. Okay. So I can just say, maybe I'm going to call it like ID. Okay. Just so that it becomes clear here and I'll make this as ID as well. Okay. And what I want to do is ID from this table should be less than, okay. So maybe I'll call it like t1.id is less than t2.id, okay? So what basically will happen is, and so this is my first join, second join condition, okay? And my first join condition would be t1.source, okay? Source is equal to t2.destination, 
okay so i'm just going to keep it like this okay now what i'm saying is this source here that is bangalore okay will join okay so let me mark it in yellow will join with destination here which is bangalore that is the second record okay so this record here will have a join with this record here additionally i want to also check that the id from this table is less than the id from this table because since i am doing a self join every record of this table will try to join with every record of the other table right but i want to make sure that for every record i only be able to join with one record from the other table so my final output will only have one record for the same cities right so i'll say id less than the id in this table so when this record tries to match with this record the id condition will fail so this will not get processed only these five records will get processed and out of these five records only bangalore and bangalore will match so only i'll get this will be matched okay so this will probably match okay and this will be successful and when i am processing the second record here here i can say that my source hyderabad okay will try to match with destination source here this i have hyderabad here right in my very first record but the id condition is the id from this table that is 2 should be less than the id in this table here the id is 1 Two less than one is actually false, so this record will not match. Okay, so this will not match. Okay, and the same thing will happen for every other record. Okay, I hope it makes sense. You kind of get an idea of what I'm trying to explain. Okay, not very easy to explain, but I hope you get an idea. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this explanation into a query. Hopefully that will make more sense. Okay, now I have basically created the same table with the same data as you can see here. Okay, now the very first thing that I want to do is since I want to have an ID, a unique identifier created for my table. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a unique identifier here. Okay, so I'm just going to say. Uh, this is star and let's say i am going to have a new column here and i'm going to use a window function row number to create the unique identifier and i'm going to give the over clause and i don't want to do any partition or any sorting because i just want a unique identifier i'm not really bothered about the order of uh, the data in this case okay and i'm going to call this like let's say id okay and if i run this now you can see that i have a unique identifier or unique number for each record okay this is fine now since i want to do a self join and since i don't want to repeat the same query twice i'll just use a cte table so i'm just going to say with cte as okay and i'll just move this to the right i'll put this here okay and then i'm just going to say select from cte and this will be let's say my table 1 and i'm doing a self join so i'll join it with the same table again and i'm going to give an alias like t2 okay and now comes my join condition okay and here i'm just going to say t1 dot my source okay as i explained my source from this table i want to join with destination of my table 2 so i'm just going to say equal to t2 dot destination okay that's fine and additionally i also want to do a check for the id so that the id that is present in this table should be less than the id from this table so two records does not get matched because i have two records with the same cities right i only want one of them to match okay and that is why i'm just going to say t1.id is less than t2.id okay and then when i'm fetching the data from here uh, i'm just going to say let's say t1.start okay i will only fetch the data from this table because i know that this will get matched so i want bangalore and hyderabad and then here only mumbai and delhi will get matched so i want this and here only chennai and pune will get matched and here I, and this is what i want okay and because if i look at my input output here this is exactly what i want okay so let's go back here and i'm just going to say t1 dot star and i think that's all now i'm going to run this and now you can see that i have got my expected output okay and instead of doing a star i'll just tell source comma t1 dot destination comma t1 dot distance okay and if i run this this is exactly what i wanted so bangalore to hyderabad one record mumbai to delhi one record chennai to pune one record okay i hope this makes sense i hope you kind of understood my explanation and thinking behind solving this problem i'm sure you can solve it in many different ways if you have a different solution definitely share it in the comments below okay thank you so much for watching and see you soon in the next one bye